Hey guys, um, I am going to show you how to install OpenScore 1.1. Um, I know a lot of you have been helping me test the software and it's greatly appreciated. We've uh, found and fixed a lot of bugs and there's still uh, more things to come. But um, uh, this uh, series of updates should include quite an improvement in uh, user, user friendliness and functionality, but um, we're still uh, not quite to ideal yet, most definitely, and uh, we do realize that. But um, what you're staring at here is uh, one of the test lanes for OpenScore. Um, the camera is, once again, a Logitech Quick Cam mounted on the gutter cap about 57 or so inches, 57, 58 inches from the head pin. Um, you may achieve better results by moving it back. It all depends on how your camera adjusts to light. Uh, there are so many dynamics here, and uh, this lane has not been surfaced yet. Um, I do have some of the uh, laminate here to uh, go ahead and surface this lane, but uh, uh, in the development, um, you know, we just we just haven't surfaced this lane yet. But uh, so if you're fighting issues with glare, mess around with the camera positioning a bit. Um, we have tested on surface lanes uh, at about 58 inches and staring up towards the tops of the pins. It's uh, worked out pretty well. So. Um, this is different than our original positioning where we were at um, actually uh, above the deck, uh, right above the uh, lighting unit. So uh, this should work out a little bit better for everybody. Uh, it's just running a USB cable back to the computer. Uh, so we're going to switch over to the computer screen and I'm going to show you guys how to get this rolling. All right, so we went to the OpenScore website, which is listed in the link section of this video. It's at openscore.catster.net. And on the front page, we saw a button to download OpenScore for Windows. And this is a Windows XP machine, as you can see. Um, and the, the installation kit for Windows should work on XP Vista and 7, whether or not you have uh, UAC enabled or whatever. So um, if you don't know what UAC is, you, you probably don't need to worry about it. So. Um, we downloaded the OpenScore setup file, it's about 10 megs, and uh, we'll go ahead and run it. And pretty much you can leave the defaults. We'll go ahead and click Next. Uh, this is licensed under the uh, GNU GPL uh, version 3, so if you guys want to read up on that, that's pretty much the licensing scheme here. It's open source, you can download the source at github.com slash compi slash OpenScore. It's also linked from the OpenScore website. And we'll go ahead and download or install to C program files open score. Alrighty, and at the end of that, um, open score has been installed and it probably threw a nice little open score icon on the desktop. As soon as this thing refocuses, I know it went kind of crazy. Uh, probably threw a nice open score icon on the desktop, but if this is your first time running it, what we want to do is we want to set up a config file. So if we go to start programs open score we'll see open score configuration and diagnostics and that's what we want so we'll go ahead and run that and we get uh, the configuration screen here and the config screen is uh, very basic uh, very straightforward uh, we set a center name and the center name is is really for use in some future things that we're doing to uniquely identify your your center on the open score network so in the event that you decide to join the OpenScore network in the community, um, we'll be able to you know, keep track of your scores and your center stats and players and everything like that. And, and more on that will be coming in later versions as far as um, probably, I'd say, by 1.5 or even 2.0. Um, and um, this is the bulk of what you'd want to change here is frames per turn is uh, one big thing that uh, is a request here and you can change that to any number here in the box. Um, another deal is um, these are all defaults. The, like the Pindicator display time is defaulted at 3 seconds or 3000 milliseconds. We are computer programmers, we count in milliseconds, sorry. The end of game marquee is for what's displayed at the end of your game after um, the game is completed. So usually it's like hit space and you know whatever to start a new game or scores off soon if you're used to the frameworks uh, setup. Uh, screen um, is 800 by 600. I would not suggest changing that. Um, you can run in full screen mode. 
Um, simple. You just uh, check or uncheck this box. Another one is um, the camera positioning here. Um, so we have the camera number. If you are trying to run your camera and you're getting an error at the start of the screen, uh, you may want to change that camera number. It defaults to zero, which is the first camera it finds. But if you have more than one camera, uh, you may want to up that to one. Camera width and camera height, you should not need to change that. Um, this is where I'll direct you to go if you are having camera initialization errors, though. Um, most cameras should be able to support 320 by 240 capture. If we need to, we can up that depending on the model camera. Um, I'll do that on a case-by-case -case basis. M calibration, you should probably leave alone. Uh, most of this should not be edited by hand um, unless you can't get into open score for whatever reason, and that's the reason why this is here. And hardware is for uh, like a deck interface card like we have here that controls the black lights. Um, this is where we set all that up. Um, so we'll go ahead and log viewer is also very, very um, handy. Log viewer is if open score doesn't start, you'll want to open this screen and take a look at the log viewer and around the last line should show you what the problems were, if any. Uh, this one here is just running cleanup and it's very verbose. So whenever we're configuring the camera, this log file can go grow very large, um, usually like 1.5 megs in, in text, which is actually quite a bit of text. So we will go ahead and exit this, and we can save it, okay? So your first time, if you don't have a configuration file, you want to hit save, and it'll save the defaults to the config file, otherwise OpenScore won't start. So we go ahead and save, and zoom out. And we'll go ahead and run OpenScore right here from the desktop. You can run it from either location, either in the program files menu or the desktop. And we see OpenScore 1.1 beta is booting up. And here we go. And since this was an upgrade, um, we might have some configuration points installed. So uh, what we'll do is we'll go hit the space bar and scroll to manager functions. And we'll calibrate score camera. All right. So we have all the configuration points here. But what we can do is um, since we do have uh, fairly noise-free image around the pins um, we can go ahead and hit we can hit C and we can add these calibration points so I'll go ahead and hit one on the keyboard two three four five and doing it from this angle, sometimes you may need to pay extra close attention just simply because of uh, what you're viewing is from the camera's perspective. So sometimes identifying the pins uniquely can be a difficult task. Um, see, right here around the 7 pin, this might be a little bit better if we move the camera farther back uh, so we can get a little bit more of an angular view of this 7 pin so we're not quite so butted up against... Um, against the uh, four. So one other thing we could do is, is scan closer down to the body. Um, just try to stay above the logo so you don't hit dead wood whenever you um, you don't want to miss score for dead wood basically. Do eight. Ooh, and that was bad. And uh, if you click off of the pin, if you just click again, it will reposition that scoring, uh, that scoring point or that calibration point. So if you click uh, over here for the eight pin, for example, and that's not what you want to do, just go ahead and just click again while the 8-pin is selected. And we'll hit 9. Scan ahead of the 9, that's close enough. And 0, which is the 10-pin. All right. And we'll go ahead and hit Enter to save our changes. And one thing I, t I tend to like to do is just go ahead and go to Manager Functions and exit the score system and just open it up with the new calibration points. And this will also purge all that massive log data because the, the log files will grow very large whenever you are calibrating the scoring system. And now what we can do is we can go back in to our score um, calibration and all of our points are saved. Go ahead and hit um, S and we have a zero. So 
Uh, from there, we can actually see that uh, we've set up OpenScore and we're ready to rock. And um, if you have any questions, please just contact me. You can email me at jimmy at catster.net or you can contact me on Boltec. I'm in the forums and uh, this is probably where you found the video anyway. So uh, thank you. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe if you have any questions. Um, and I will be publishing updates as soon as they come out. I know it's been quiet, but that's because I've just been... Uh, kind of working behind the scenes here trying to find glitches make things a little bit more user-friendly and um, you know thank you guys very much for watching